the holy oh holy praise the lord hallelujah my brothers and sisters in christ welcome to the holy of holies today let us pray for those who are suffering from kidney diseases those who are going through dialysis and many other urinary problems let us all pray in faith when we pray in faith the lord will send his mercy his comfort and healing upon all those whom we are praying for so together let us offer one hail mary please pray with me hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen alleluia so today let us talk about the consequences of grumbling murmuring and complaining some of us have this bad nature our ancestors in exodus generation they had this evil nature of complaining against the lord and god was not pleased with them we read in the book of numbers chapter 14 verses 27 how long shall this wicked congregation complain against me i have heard the complaints of the israelites which they complain against me praise the lord the lord was listening to their complaints their murmuring and grumbling ungratefulness ensnared exodus generation they were not happy in the wilderness for every inconveniences adversities in hunger in thirst when they were faced with enemy in all those situations they raised their voice against the lord and the appointed leadership they forgot about their past sufferings and how god delivered them out of egypt out of slavery they started grumbling against the lord and moses and god was not pleased with them they were struck down in the wilderness my dear brothers and sisters in christ in our our own wilderness experiences when we are faced with the discomforts and trials in our life when things don't go as we planned how do we respond how do we respond to the lord do we raise our voices against him and start complaining about the situations do we lose our faith the exodus journey was not easy for our ancestors the journey to the promised land it was not easy for them and it is not going to be easy for us we are also to face with the trials and discomforts and many other inconveniences my dear brothers and sisters in christ let us not be like them let us not put christ to the test and let us not complain against him but instead let us have that faith in the lord in his mercy let us pray for an increase in faith and let us completely trust in the lord and entrust ourselves into his hands praise the lord we are called to be the light of this world just like the israelites they were set apart to be the light of this world for many nations and we the baptized children are called to be the light of this world in this crooked and perverse generation our call is to be the light we read in philippians chapter 2 verses 14 and 15 do all things without murmuring and arguing so that you may be blameless and innocent children of god without blemish in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation in which you shine like stars in the world praise the lord so today let us receive an inspiration from this word of god do everything without murmuring and grumbling and pray for the grace pray for an increase in faith and let us all together in one spirit continue this journey this exodus to the promised land to the heaven to the eternal life praise the lord let us pray lord jesus we thank you and we praise you lord jesus we ask you to forgive us our ungratefulness our ingratitude lord jesus in our discomforts in our trials in our wilderness experiences that we have spoken against you forgive us lord jesus have mercy on us restore us in our faith and give us more endurance increase our faith so that we can complete this journey with faithfulness and we can be found blameless and innocent when you come again in your glory thank you lord jesus praise you lord jesus we pray for all those who are suffering to be touched by your mighty hand we thank you lord jesus for hearing our prayers amen god bless you all all glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit amen do all things without murmuring and crumbling Amen.